On December 15, 1821, the town of Lawrenceville, Georgia was incorporated. Now, 188 years later, the town is thriving and growing every day. I'm Rachel Garrett for GBC News, and I looked into what it is that the city is doing to keep going strong. Don't give up the ship. That is a quote from Captain James Lawrence, who was a naval commander in the War of 1812. Lawrenceville author Mary Long says the town was named for him, and his powerful words seem to be the town's credo. I think that uh, is, is uh, probably symbolic of the attitude of a lot of people. Just don't give up if you have an idea. The Lawrenceville, Georgia homepage says that from the very beginning, the town has met its problems head on. We've had people who are just interested enough in Lawrenceville to keep it going. Long says the importance Lawrenceville places on education is part of its success. It's the people who started the town who were interested enough to finally start a public school system in 1895. But prior to that, they had a private school, so they were interested in educating children. Children have always been a primary concern of people who live in Lawrenceville, and I think that's important to any town. Long says there are reminders of Lawrenceville's history all across town, particularly with street names. The Culver Street, though, was named for a lady named Mrs. Culver, who was a really good cook and had a boarding house on that street. You could get a really good lunch at Miss Culver's house for a quarter. Long says the town is working on building its businesses back up and will continue to be successful. I think we have access to good schools here, and that's the number one priority with most people. And we have a great downtown area where you can get good food and good fellowship. You can just have a good time in downtown Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville continues to make history. The Georgia Gwinnett College is the first four-year public college created in the 21st century. It's also Georgia's first four-year public college in the past 100 years. For GBC News, I'm Rachel Garrett. Thanks for watching.